Are we ready for this? On our, the back of a door is our scarier reef. Deep sea and ocean. Let's have a look for the final reveal. Hope I don't fall over. There's our Kraken. We'll look up at the whole thing and then check it out a little more closely. Ta-da! What do you think? I can't believe it. It looks so good compared to how it looked with uh, just the door. I got like total 360. I'm making room over here as you can tell. Um, I was a little busy doing that. Stunning addition. I love it. I think that worked out really good on the top. So it has a kind of um, aquarium feel. Don't mind my random toilet paper roll. It's not really random. I had it holding the door open a little bit until everything dried. So let's have a deeper look at the Kraken. This was all made out of a piece of cardboard from a refrigerator box, paper mache and built up from by hand. And I am so delighted in myself and proud of myself for this one because um, I don't think I've ever made something so much from scratch. You can see the shine a little bit more on the top of his head. That's the only place. Or no, I must have did it heavier. I ended up putting shellac on there. Um, just so when she slides back and forth, it won't scratch up. The eyes are amazing. They're built up with about six layers of stuff. And there's a picture I put a, <clears throat> excuse me, up on Instagram where you can actually see the shadow of the red eye veins, which I kind of did on purpose so it would show. And I did add some glitter to the back of the gray because Alex thought it looked like a regular cave and I wanted to make it look like an underwater cave. So um, that was a nice addition. So that's for Calamari. And she has her initials right there. Moving over into the deep blue sea that was the deep dark sea this is the deep blue sea this is um peri and pearl serpentine they are in an underwater cavern and of course we all know they love making jewelry so this is their little hoarding spot for hiding all their jewelry and goods and uh what do you think jb i think it worked out really really good did work this thing in there because there is stuff that has fallen onto the sea floor from passing ships and people playing at the beach. So I thought that would be a funny little addition in with that. She is, ooh, they are. This is just the coolest doll. Their initials are back here under there. So I like to do that. Okay. Now let's look over here at the doorknob just because we knew that was a point of contention. And I ended up painting all of the edges to match and it inadvertently gave it a little bit of a 3D effect in real life, which is really kind of fun. Hidden treasures that opens and closes. I love that. Then we have Miss Draculaura. She's coming in between the reef. It's a little not so exciting in the middle, but hey, you gotta have some blue sea that's just uh, for swimming, right? Frankie, the eel, perfect little eel. By the way, these are all hanging by fishing wire, which was attached very thoroughly to the back for those of you who have not followed along on the um, video journals of this. There was five. Woo. Next we have, you can tell I'm excited. I'm like out of breath. I always get out of breath when I run up here. So now we have Laguna. She's, she and by request I put Mr. Finnegan there. They're having a race. Laguna say, beach to the top. <laughs> oh, and Frankie is saying, um, Dracula, you don't have to plug your nose. You have mermaid powers right now. Oh, really? <laughs> That's the story I have going on. Okay, over here now we have um, Claudine Wolf and she's saying, uh, Posy Girl, calm down with the splashing. I don't like getting splashed. She's looking ever so pretty. A few of these can definitely use a little salon time. Um, I'll do that later. I think when we were back, you could see the glitter coming through. Super happy about that. Um, in person, it looks way better, actually, than it does as I'm looking on this screen. Added some bubbles that you didn't see as well. Now we have our tigerfish, Torlai. And she's looking over here at these other 
the little tiger fishes and saying, hey, fishy, 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 fishy. She wants to catch them because she's just so wrong. <laughs> and now we have our topper, the goddess of the water, is Hosea Reef. I like calling her Posey just because of the sea thing. And she is just framed beautifully on this crazy controlling the water water spray. Made her a, um, oh, what's it called? A trident. And I'll have a tutorial right here or down in the description very soon. And uh, you can have a peek if you want to make that. It was very easy. This water spray is made up of paper mache um, beginning, base, and then clear caulking, white caulking, and tons of different colors of um, puffy paint. Of course, puffy paint. And um, it looks really, really good. The texture on it is absolutely amazing. Again, since the video journal, I put a whole lot more layers on it. And that's what took so long to make it dry. And it's really neat when you look, oh, like right here, the clear caulking. I really wanted to wait for it to dry before we showed it. And you can see all the different dimensions of it. It, it looks like a little bit too symmetrical water waves, but it does, uh, it has body and shine. It's so cool. <laughs> when Alex put this up, I wanted to do the video right away. I was like, oh, I gotta wait till it dries because when I did Mirror's bed, it just didn't look so good. Oh, you can see the glitter there where it changes from the blue sea to the deep blue sea. <sighs> Doll family. Wow. Um, I'm feeling really good about this project. This one over here was quite impressive for building, but um, it's like we went small, medium, large <laughs> for being creative. I am, I could put a little spot in the middle of the room and just say I am really totally in surrounded doll heaven. And But don't forget I got a few more spots. I'm still going to have a few more projects, not many, but a few. This is just, oh phenomenal. Washers and screws to put it up. We did have a bowing going on here for the video journal people and um, we got lucky and had to add one screw right in the middle. And washer and luckily we hit something solid behind it because we didn't have that planned or with a proper anchor and that just kind of sucked it in what we needed it sticks out a little bit but nothing major the door is still workable I showed you that in the beginning how I painted all the edges of that so when you're on the outside it looks normal and not intrusive to the rest of the house as well I had um, this door opens and there's a stopper here to stop it I had it did now the reason this was built this way and informed was to go around here so when we opened it would open to right here perfectly and not hit anything and it you know gave me all this extra room when I did it um, this section originally so I was trying to match up to that so everything starts where it won't hit over here um, I had it so close oh it was just touching only because of the bowing that was in there that I struggled with very much. But I have my fail safe, which I knew if I messed up, I could fix. And I just moved this over an inch. So that actually made me fit better here. And now nothing, I absolutely, actually I wanna just show you what I'm talking about. When I open it, absolutely nothing hits. So we got a door that can swing and sway. It is the only entry and exit door for this and it works so that there my friends to everybody who followed along you are truly diehards and i really appreciate it you give me so much encouragement and you have no clue what it means to me and that is the end of this reveal of our scarier reef great scarier reef deep sea aquarium <laughs> See you next time!